Marissa Vaquera here at the 2017 January NAC. Just coming off holiday season, how did you spend it? Um, I actually went to Cuba with my family, and from there we basically traveled to maybe like five places, and then we had visit we saw family. And for me, it was my first time meeting them. For my dad, it was the second time seeing them, so it was kind of cool. In five places all within Cuba? Yeah. So like we started in Havana, then we went down to Trinidad, Fomento, Cayo Coco, and we ended in Cameroon. Okay, so having what I hear to be Cuban roots, uh, do you speak Spanish? I do not. My no. parents do. I do not. <laughs> oh, no, and how do they feel about that? You know what? It's like their fault. So, like, they're probably more upset with themselves than they are. Like, none of my sisters speak it. My mom's Puerto Rican, she speaks it. My dad speaks it. None of my cousins speak it. My aunts and uncles speak it. So. So you're a senior currently in high school as you gear up for your your college life. Do you anticipate studying a language, namely Spanish, then? Probably continue studying Spanish. I'm not sure like how long, but maybe like for a year or so. All right. So bringing it back to the actual vacation, being in Cuba, of course, there's a big World Cup there for women's foil, men's foil. Um, was, you said that was your first time there, however. Yeah. What did you think? What were your impressions? For, of course, many Americans, uh, not many have experienced Cuba. Um, for me, it's very, like, different, like, being there. They don't have, like, anything that, like, Americans have. Like, we stayed at bed and breakfast, and, like, we were in people's houses, like, living with them, basically. And, um, like, there's no Wi-Fi unless you're in, like, specific hotspots, which are very hard to find. And even then you have to buy, like, a card to use it. So, like, you're very, like, I don't want to say excluded from the world, because, like, but it's definitely, like, a different experience. And you're surrounding yourself in, like, a whole different culture. It's really nice. Yeah, and Cuba does have a very high, um, like, literacy and education rate. And a lot of people have, have not just undergraduate degrees, but, but even master's degrees. Um, but with your success in fencing and, and, you know, trying to make teams and stuff, how much have you been able to experience that different culture with uh, travels to other countries? Um, I wouldn't say, like, a lot, because, like, we've been to, I think I've been, uh, I've been to Germany, but, like, when we were in Germany, we were still at the hotel and at the competition. And um, I haven't, like, found my way to speak to many, like, international uh, fencers. So, like, even that, I don't, like, have that experience, like, making friends with them. Um, Hungary was kind of, like, the same way, being in that. Um, I did, like, visit the city around, which was, like, really nice. Other than that, I'm not surrounding myself with, like, people who actually live there. And, like, and being immersed in, really, like, the cultural yeah. aspects. So, all right, I imagine that's the same as your time here in Columbus. All right, well, the city brings you enough uh, cultural exposure. Yeah. Thanks, Marissa.